Hi, welcome to FAIR TV. I'm Peter Hart. What's worse than gimmicky campaign commercials? Segments of what are nominally news broadcasts devoted to gimmicky campaign commercials. Not fact-checking them, just airing them. That's what ABC World News offered its viewers on October 31st, a segment about the Senate race in Iowa between eventual winner Republican Joni Ernst and Democrat Bruce Braley. Ernst made a commercial that was apparently so interesting, it deserved free airtime as a news report. Listen to this pitch about hogs. I grew up castrating hogs on an Iowa farm, so when I get to Washington, I'll know how to cut pork. Well, okay. ABC's reporter poured on more folksy biographical details. Joni Ernst, a mom, a wife, a Harley writer, who says she'll do to Washington what she's done to the hogs. Now, Ernst was actually running against someone, but ABC hardly found time to mention his name. But now, there's someone hoping to stop Joni Ernst, Hillary Clinton, who this week stood beside the Democrat in the race, Congressman Bruce Braley. And what did he hand her? A onesie. On the trail, she's embracing her new role as a new grandmother. Joni Ernst does deserve some critical scrutiny. She's called Barack Obama a dictator. She says the UN is engaged in a conspiracy to force Iowa farmers off their land and that she'd support allowing police to arrest federal officials attempting to implement Obamacare. And she endorsed the idea of using guns to fend off government agents. I believe in the right to defend myself and my family, whether it's from an intruder or whether it's from a government, should they decide that my rights are no longer important. You learned none of that from ABC, but you did see plenty of her funny ad. Coverage like that is a reminder that the big winners in the election cycle aren't necessarily one party or political candidate. Commercials like the one that helped Joni Ernst win in Iowa were part of an election advertising season that totaled upward of $2 billion. And where did the money go? To media outlets. So it's not a stretch to say that corporate media have a vested interest in the elections staying exactly the way they are. It's bad for democracy, sure, but it's really good for business. Covering campaigns that are a major source of corporate profits leads to segments like the one ABC presented. But some campaign journalism did things differently. A New York Times article about climate change drew a line connecting political rhetoric and the interests bankrolling a campaign. The reality of campaigning is that a politician who acknowledges that burning coal and oil contributes to global warming must offer a solution, which most policy experts say should be taxing or regulating carbon pollution and increasing government spending on alternative energy. But those ideas are anathema to influential conservative donors like the billionaire brothers Charles and David Koch and the advocacy group they support Americans for Prosperity. Connecting the dots like that is all too rare. Speaking of climate change, CNN Reliable Sources host Brian Stelter was refreshingly direct on his November 2nd program. I've said before here on Reliable Sources that I don't think there are two equal sides to climate change. The scientific consensus is that it's real. The debate is over what to do about it. And the press has to be careful about creating this notion of sides. Now, Stelter said this, unfortunately, as an introduction to, yes, a here are both sides argument about whether there's any such thing as climate change. The story, which Stelter hyped as one you weren't going to see anywhere else, is that the founder of the Weather Channel thinks climate change is a hoax. And that got him on Fox News, which in turn meant that he had to be on CNN, where he could say things like this. Science is about facts. And if you get down to the hard, cold facts, uh, there's no question about it. Climate change is not happening. There is no significant man-made global warming now. There hasn't been any in the past, and there's no reason to expect any in the future. The very same day, the latest IPCC report was generating headlines, but no coverage on the Sunday chat shows. But we did get this dubious debate about climate change. So thanks, CNN. I'm Peter Hart. Thanks for tuning in to FAIR TV.